let's jump straight to the chase. In this video, I will share with you five ways to source content images for Instagram. We as content creators and entrepreneurs need to show up on social media consistently. Instagram is a visual platform. That's why in order for us to show up, we need to make sure we have an engaging image or video ready to go every day. I am a planner. I like to be prepared and stay ahead. At the moment, I have over 60 unscheduled images in the pipeline waiting for their time to shine. It wasn't always the case for me. There were times where I had to scroll through my archives to find the perfect photo to go with my caption. Since then, I've developed a system which helps me create and capture content images efficiently to ensure I always have a diverse portfolio of photos and videos to choose from. So I can show up on Instagram every day completely stress-free. Keep on watching to find out exactly how I source visual content for Instagram. First of all, you can take photos specifically for Instagram. Let's say you are the face of your brand and you need to be the star of your content. If you're still shying away from the camera, I strongly encourage you to give it a go and be the face of your brand. Humans connect to humans and genuine connection between you and your audience is what going to help your business grow. So in order to get your photos done, you can either hire a photographer to do it for you, ask a family member to help out or do it yourself. All of the options are great. I only do content photo shoots maybe once every couple of months and you might think it's not enough, but it is for me. I'm very strategic when I plan them out. Firstly, I always choose locations that offer diverse landscapes. For example, all of these photos were taken in one location and the photo shoot lasted for about an hour. Secondly, I pack multiple outfits. Jackets and scarves are great. You can even wear the same top and only change up your outerwear. And thirdly, make sure you capture a wide variety of short sizes. Horizontal, vertical, close-up, mid, full body shots, as well as abstract shots. I personally like to combine work and pleasure when it comes to capturing my images. I often take my camera on walks into cafes with me and I make sure I take a few photos while I'm there. And if I don't have my DSLR with me, I can always use my phone. It's a matter of being productive and doing the best you can with what you have available to you at the time. You can easily end up with 20 to 30 amazing images for your grid. All you have to do then is spread them out and post only one photo per week from that particular shoot. Another way of sourcing images is going through your personal archives for throwback photos. You might find amazing images that you thought were not even there. I do this quite often, especially when I'm reflecting on my personal journey and growth. Using throwback photos can give your audience an insight into your past. And if you combine it with a story time caption, you'll end up with a touching, meaningful and relatable piece of content that is destined to perform well. How can I not mention Canva when I'm talking about visual content? Canva is a graphic design tool that I use in my business daily. I talk about Canva and four other free business tools that I love and use in my business in this video. Let's say you want to post an inspirational quote by one of the greatest, Walt Disney. If you can dream it, you can do it. Rather than simply going and finding the image of the quote online, you can go the extra mile for your audience and create a word graphic in Canva. That fits perfectly within your grid and is aligned with your brand. And don't forget to personalize it with your Instagram handle. If you're a video content creator, you will love the next step. If you're filming in high definition, you can simply screenshot the picture-perfect moments from your video footage and post them as separate photos. That's exactly what I started doing as soon as I committed to producing video content. I usually manage to capture between 5 to 15 images per shoot. And I shoot about 2 to 3 videos every week. So, if you do the math, that's a lot of images. I usually give the camera a little smile before I start talking to give myself options when I review the footage later. And then once again, I add the photos to the waiting list until I find the perfect slot for them on my Instagram feed. And last but certainly not least, you can reshare other people's content and give your insight and perspective on the subject matter. You can use an app like Reshare on Instagram or screenshot their content. Just don't forget to always credit the content creator. It's a great way to build relationships with other content creators in your niche while showing up on the platform yourself. As you can see, you don't have to take photos every single day in order to come up with engaging content. 
As long as you're organized and very strategic when it comes to sourcing your Instagram images, you can show up for your audience daily, stress and hassle-free. If you found this video helpful, like it, comment and share it with a friend so I can create more videos just like this one. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more tips on business, personal development and content creation. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you later.